You don't need pot to 114. Yeah. Yo, uh, to find the domain, you set the bottom equal to zero. So you're going to do x plus 4 equals zero. That means x equals negative 4 is where the domain is not in the function. Bam. Oh, no. Wait. Done. So this one, they want to know what the domain is. All right? Does the bottom, can I set the bottom equal to zero? There's no x on the bottom, is there? No. So that means there's no value that will make the domain undefined. Look, yep. Yeah. Mode 5, 3 is the bottom. You're going to type in 1 equals, 7 equals, negative 18 equals. Okay. So it equals. What's that sub 1 equal? 7 equals, negative 18 equals? Yeah. And then I again. It equals again. What's that sub 1 equal? X sub 1 equals 2. It equals again? Negative 9. And there's your two answers. Okay, so 3 2 and negative 9. Mode 3. Mode 5, 3 the bottom. Oh, mode 5, 3. Mode Five, three, the bottom. The bottom? Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at this one. Mode five, three, the bottom. Mode five, three, the bottom. And find out what x sub one equals and what x sub two equals. So one equals, negative 12 equals, So there it is. Find all the numbers that are not in the domain. So it's not allowed to equal 5 or 7. So x cannot equal 5 or 7. When you're not finding the domain. So you're going to load 5, 3 the top. And you're going to load 5, 3 the bottom. All right? Load 5, 3 the top. And load 5, 3 the bottom. So what did you get from load 5, 3 on the top? Good. So then x sub 1, x sub 1 to the top is 2, and then x2 is negative 4. Alright, watch this, watch this, watch this. So it's actually a y, isn't it? Yeah. Instead of an x. And see how it says x equals 2? Yeah. Your factor is going to be y minus 2. Uh -huh. See how it says x equals negative 4? Your factor is going to be y plus 4. Mode 5, 3 to the bottom. Mode 5, 3 to the bottom. So all you gotta do is hit AC AC and it'll clear it out. Hit AC AC twice, and then type in the one equals, the negative three equals, the negative twenty-eight equals. Okay. Hit equals. I got seven and negative four. Mm -hmm. Did you type in one equals negative three equals negative no. twenty-eight equals? No, I didn't, I didn't Yo, in order to use mode 5-3, you got to type it in accurately. Yeah. Okay, Alright, so that's going to give me x equals 7. That's going to give me y minus 7. x equals negative 4. y plus 4. Now notice, these will simplify. Those will cancel out. So your final answer is going to be y minus 2 over y minus 7. See the y plus 4 and the y plus 4? Yeah. They simplify. And all you're left with is y minus 2 over y minus 7. Oh, okay. Already factored for you. So is that a division bar? Yes. If it's a division bar, you got to KFC it. So you use that term, right? Yeah, okay. Um, so here's what you have to do. You're going to have to copy this down. All right? So I'm going to copy this part down. I'm going to keep that. Then, I'm going to flip this. And what that means is that's now going to be x plus 8 on top. See how the x plus 8 was on the bottom? The x minus 3 goes on top. That's the flip. The x plus 2 goes on the bottom. And the 3x plus 5 goes on the bottom. You flip and then you change this to multiply. Now all you do is cancel stuff out. So see how I have an x plus 8 here? Yeah. And an x plus 8 here? Oh, no, you just I have an x minus 3 
and x minus 3, and x plus 2, and x plus 2. That's going to leave me with just 2x minus 5 over 3x plus 5. I see this because it's a division. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this. I'm going to keep the front part. That's the key. So I'm going to keep that. Then I'm going to flip this. So that's going to be... Now, yeah, multiply. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. You can't multiply three this stuff. You've got to GCF it. So notice, the greatest common factor for this top one is two. Yeah. So I'm going to pull a two out. And it's going to be P minus one. What's two times P? Two P. What's two times one? Two. Over P. Times six P squared over. I can GCF an eight out. And that's going to be P minus 1. Now the P minus 1 will simplify. The P minus 1 will simplify. See how that's P squared? P squared over P. That P is going to go away, and that's just going to turn into P. So it's going to be 2 times 6P over 8. Pick up the calculator. Go to mode 1. Hit that button. Mode 1. Hit that fraction button. And on the top, you're going to put 2 times 6, down arrow, over 8. Hit equals. That's 3 over 2. What is it? 3 over 2. And what's left? P. The P's on top. So it would be 3P over 2. I'm not afraid of it. No. You're going to mode by 3. You're going to mode by 3, this top part. Right there. Go on, mode 5 free it and tell me what you get. Um, in the first part? The first thing, 2, negative 15, 28. So you're going to mode 5 free that. And it's going to be 2 equals negative 15 equals 28 equals. Oh, okay. So it's 2 equals negative 15 equals 28 equals. And then x sub 1 equals 4. So x sub 1 equals 4. Um, and then 7 halves, right? And then, yeah, that's Watch this, watch this. Here's what that means. Ready? The x equals 4 is going to turn into x plus 4. You good? Yeah. Then, what's the opposite of divide by 2? Multiply. That 2 is going to go out front. What's the opposite of plus 7? So it's going to be 2x minus 7. Okay. Yeah. 4. Okay, so where's the 4? Oh, wait. I thought x1 equals 1. It equals 4? It equals 4. It is. Hit up arrow. All right, now I'm going to factor the bottom one. So mode 5, 3, the bottom one. Mode 5, 3, the bottom one. You didn't know the calculator would do a lot of this, did you? No. It won't do it all. It won't do it all, but it, it'll do pieces of it. It'll do pieces of it. So you're going to type in 2 equals, 3 equals, negative 35 equals. So look, that's going to be 2x minus 7. You know, notice those are going to cancel out, aren't they? Yeah. And then x plus 5. And then you do the same thing. Mode 5, 3, the top right. So you're going to mode 5, 3, the top right. So that's going to be 3x minus 4. And that's going to be x plus 5. Now this is the most difficult part of the problem. See how it says 4 minus x? And up top I have an x plus 4. No, no I, think, I, think, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. No, because it's multiplied. You, know, you only can't KSC when it's divided. All right, let's look. X, 2x minus 7, cancels out with 2x minus 7. X plus 5, cancels out with x plus 5. Let's get rid of shit. 
So it can't be this one, right? Well, I, Is there an X plus five? No. No. Over 4 minus x, but I'm not going to write that. Watch, watch. I'm going to put negative x plus 4. And yeah, it is, a, it is a difficult problem there. Now, notice the x plus 4 and the x plus 4 will cancel out. So your answer is going to be b, negative. So what made you change? Because that and that do not simplify right now. So the GCF for this is a negative 1. And that's rude. That's high level. You're so upset with that one. Yeah, I know. Uh, me too, because I don't want to want, want you to, like, you were going good, and then something that looks really basic isn't. Yeah. Well, cause I just, how did you get, how did you change the, the 4 minus x and then negative 4 All right, let me ask you this. So it has 4 minus x, and I rewrote it as negative, negative 4 plus x. What's negative times negative? Positive. What's negative times positive? So if I pull a negative x out of this, I can rewrite it as yeah. again, it's not a, not a nice problem. Yeah. It's not a nice problem. Yeah, if worse comes to worse, just type this in. Well, it only takes like one type of answer, so we'll just take it wrong anyway. No, it has to accept every version of the correct answer. Really? Yeah. No, because even if I'm so this is gonna be 19 minus 8 over 20x. Uh, I guess it's eleven over 20x. That's a common denominator, you're done. Bye, Eleanor. You're going to leave her alone? Well, it's Friday night, you two ain't going out. You're going to leave her here. the common denominator, that's nice. So it's 9x squared on the bottom. And then on the top, you're going to do 15 minus 7. And I think that's 8, isn't it? 15 minus 7? Oh, it's the Yeah, yeah. And that's it. It's 8 over 9x squared. You can't simplify it any further. So they have a common denominator, q minus 5. So 23 minus 4. Yeah, that's an option. That's 19 over Q minus 5. Right? Yeah. So see a 3X plus 22? Mm -hmm. Minus, and this is where people mess up. They're just going to put X plus 10, but they have to wrap it. You're subtracting the whole top. The common denominator is going to be x squared plus 4x minus 12. So let's modify 3 that right now and factor it. Let's modify 3 that bottom and factor it. That's going to factor into x minus 2 and x plus 6. Now I'm going to do the arithmetic on the top. So that's going to be 3x plus 22 minus x minus 10. All over x minus 2, x plus 6. So 3x minus x is 2x. 22 minus 10, I think, is 12 over x minus 2, x plus 6. I can factor out a GCF from the top of 2. So that's going to equal 2 times x plus 6 all over x minus 2 times x plus 6. What cancels out? So that's going to give me 2 over x minus 2.
Yeah, like I said, it's not easy, is it? No. It's not easy. Yeah, it's not it's a slam dunk. Because it's easier than having shake. The way she does it, it's like it's a different, a whole different way to make time. Because it's a different way to do it. Yeah, it's a different way to do it. For number 13, it, the, it would be the bottom is T, and the other bottom is T plus 5. And they want the, the least common denominator. So all you do is multiply them. So what's T? And that's it, right there. Alpha, and I think it's over here as a divide. See it, LCM? Yeah. So let's turn it on, hit mode one, then alpha, LCM, and you're going to type in 15, comma, that's shift. The comma's right up here. See the comma? Oh, yeah. So shift, comma, 12, close parentheses, hit equals. Oh, wait, it, 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 it did? So that's how we get the 60. Now I know it's multiple choice, right? Well, because I, I think it's 12 minutes. It's not that you do a parenthesis, it's closing something. Oh, that's your shift. Shift that, okay. And then 12. And then, and then, and then. Did it kick out 60? Yeah. This is what it should look like in your screen. LCM. Yeah, LCM. 15, comma, it won't do the letters. 15, comma, 12, close parenthesis, and it'll say 60. So at least common multiple is 60 for this particular problem. Now we need to deal with the letters. All right, so we got 60. Now notice I have an x and an x squared. You put down the x squared. This one I have a y, I'm done. So it's 60 x squared y. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta factor it. You gotta factor it. It's gonna be. Yeah, I can factor that one too. So mode 5, 3, the first part. So notice I have R plus 6 and R plus 1. Then this one here, you can't use the calculator for it. You're just going to drag out an R times R plus 1. So my LCM, my LCM of those is going to equal. Well, R plus 1 is going to be one of them. See how R plus 1 is here? R plus 1 is here. So one of them is going to be R plus 1. Then I need R plus 6. And what's left over, over here? They put it in front. Now notice, my order isn't the same as theirs. But it doesn't matter. The order isn't going to matter if you type it in. Okay? So mode 5, 3 is the first one. And after you do that, we'll write down those answers and then list the factors. So I got negative two yeah. and negative six. Yeah. So that's gonna oops I, I put that wrong. So that's gonna be x plus two. Mm -hmm. X plus six. And the other one? I'm gonna put my semicolon or my comma. And then I'm gonna mode five three that. That's going to give me x plus 3. Now notice, see how the x plus 6 shows up twice? So you only copy it down once. So x plus 6 goes over here for the LCM. Now, nothing doubles up. So this one has to come over. And this one has to come over. And you're done.
So multiply three, the first one on the bottom. Y minus 2, Y minus 1. Now this one, we remember what we were studying for the PERT? That's the difference of squares. That's going to be Y times Y equals Y squared. 1 times 1 equals 1. And it's going to alternate plus minus. So now my LCM for the bottom. My LCM for the bottom. Let me bring this down here. So notice, they both have a y minus 1 in it, right? So this one has a y minus 2. This one doesn't. So I have to come over here and put a y minus 2 on the bottom. That means I have to put a y minus 2 on the top. So now this one has three items, y plus 1, y minus 1, y minus 2. This one doesn't have the y plus 1. So I have to put the y plus 1 on the bottom. That means I have to put the y plus 1 on the top also. That's going to give me 3y plus 3 plus 7y minus 14 all over those three items. So y minus 1, y plus 1, and y minus 2. What's, uh, oh wait, that's just 3y. 3y plus 7y, that's 10y. 3 minus 14 is negative 11. I'm done. 10y minus 11. And then these three items on the bottom. How do you get 11 to 14? Oh, the 3. What's 3 minus 14? You can factor that one. You can modify three that one. So modify three that one while I factor this one. This is going to be x plus four, x minus four. All right? Yeah. So that bottom is going to factor to x plus four, x minus four. Modify three the bottom of that one. I can factor it without the calculator. So you got x equals negative 4, x equals negative 1. So after you modify 3, that, you should get that. So now, notice I have x plus 4, x minus 4. I don't have an x minus 4 over here. So I'm going to put an x minus 4 over here. That means if I put it on the bottom, I have to put it on the top. So now I have three items over here. I only have two over here. So I need the x plus 1 over here on the bottom. So I put x plus 1 on the bottom. That means I have to put x plus 1 on the top as well. That negative, that negative has to go up in front of this after I distribute it. So that's a big mistake that people fail to do. So that's going to be x squared plus x minus 8x plus 32. That's going to give me x squared minus 7x plus 32. Yeah, it's a minus seven x. They try to trick you bad. I think your problem is you're not going to know when to stop. Like you're going to get to there and think you can keep going. You should keep going. Yeah. Yeah, because then it'll make it easier. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hack this one. All right, before we hack away at it, you see square root eighteen. Type square root eighteen in your calculator and hit SD. I want to find out what the decimal is. Well, I, it's not like the point. So I want to like practice over like the point. All right, all right. 
You right? You right? You right? Ready? Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to use X. You ready? You're going to hit this button. You're going to type in 6 over X, alpha red X, minus 3. Minus. Hit this fraction button again. 3 over alpha red X, alpha red X, plus 3. Equals. Now, when you hit equals, you don't want to type equals. You want to hit alpha red equals. You see it? You don't want to hit equals. You want to type in equals. And an equal sign will appear. Back arrow. So you made the mistake of hitting equals. Guess what? I do all the time as well. You can correct it. You hit back arrow. You hit alpha red equals. You're going to hit the fraction thing again. This time you're going to put 9 over alpha red x. Alpha red equals is right up there by the count button. Look at my computer. Nine over alpha red x. It made a big x and a question mark. Alpha red equals. Fraction bar. Let me catch up. Six over alpha red x minus three, right arrow. Minus fraction bar. Three over alpha red x plus three, right arrow. Alpha red equals fraction bar. Nine. Nine. Down arrow. Alpha red x x squared minus 9. Don't hit equals. Hit shift solve. On this one? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Division bar. Then All right. Alpha red x, then. So you're going to type it in. Yeah, we're going to use x. So you hit the division bar. And, then and you put 2 alpha red x plus 3 on top. Yeah. Down arrow, put alpha red x. Then you hit alpha red equals, okay. hit the division bar, put 3 over 2, don't hit equals, hit shift, solve, and then it's going to ask you to guess. Our last guess was negative 6. Oh yeah, so solve and negative 6. So hit the fraction bar, type in 5x, alpha red x, plus 9, over alpha red x, squared, Minus 4, right arrow, alpha red equals, alpha red equals, fraction bar again, negative 2, alpha red x, squared, plus 5, alpha red x, minus 1, over, down arrow, down arrow, alpha red x, squared, minus 4, right arrow, right arrow, plus, fraction bar, 2, Alpha red x minus 4, down arrow, x minus 2. Hit. Alpha red equals. I mean, no, shift, shift solve. Shift solve. You're going to guess. It said solve minus 6. So minus 6. So uh, I guess 0 again. Because minus 6 was the answer to the last question. Yeah. That's all it's doing, it's throwing the answer to it. It's saying if you're going to guess, let's use last answer's quest, uh, get answer. Last question's answered. So type in zero, hit equals, and see what it gives you.